later. You had one, right? Yeah, I did one. Not yeah. One. This one's new. This one here is starting to come apart. It's just the That's rubber from the outer old one. casing. It's just the outer casing. Yeah. It has on the inside a big piece of rubber, and then the, uh, you know, woven. So it's just an outer casing. It shouldn't, shouldn't be, but you know, life is long every shoulder. Why do you want me to do it? It's up to you. I'll do it to stop it. I would never not like that for <laughs> Ray the foam guy. I think I still get random letters with his name on it. Yeah. One was a Christmas card a couple years ago. It had 50 bucks in it, so I kept that. <laughs> now I'm just kidding. It was from his dentist or lawyer or something. Yeah, I don't know what issues he has now. figured out what that hole was there for when they had the ducts clean right before you got in. Mm. Oh, it's probably the duct guy did that. Yeah, they cut a hole to yeah. uh, get the suction. Um, was it a, a brush cleaning system? No, it was a um, air. Air steam cleaning? Air, however they do it, it was seared. Okay. Mm. Um, what you need to do in the future, keep it on back in mind. There are two companies to use Coit and Stanley Steamer. Okay. Okay. They both do this sanitation thing. Yes. And it's better for the duck run. I know when they use the brushes, it spins and destroys all the insulation. Yep. Mm, yeah. You well, want to get something see, with air see pressure. How, see how this stuff is all sort of yeah. very fibrous? Yep, I see it. Apart. It's what? It just comes apart. Yeah. Yeah, you can just drop it off and we're Hold on. Hold on. Real good. Oh no, he did. He wasted a good probably forty to fifty dollars in spray foam. I was like, I'm documenting his his soon to be back injury. Yeah, it did. It did have a heater, yeah. It did. I mean, I never turned it on once. So I. Oh, you turn that thing on. Oh, to be full of yeah, that's. It smells when you. Yeah, why would you want to? No, you don't. For for a five degree temperature. I can swap the heater right into it. See. Well, it's got the spot for it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah it, does, it does have a spot. For it, but... The thing about these heaters, uh, they are specific to the brand. Yeah, I'm not messing with it. This is what I don't want, is this to be sitting outside. Oh, yeah, someone put it. Look at that. This is somebody causing a problem. Uh-huh. Okay, next thing. Let me, yes. get, let me get the new, new stand. Hold it out of your way. Oh, the heater just mounts right in there. I see that. Yeah, so you could always go mount see, one. Now, if... now look at this fan. Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, he just touch it. It spins. It's... Hmm. This one is much more efficient than the old one. Yeah. I mean, like... That one was still... Even though after you guys strong. fixed it last, it was still struggling to maintain any temperature because, like, as the day goes on and the sun heads towards the west, yeah. you know, the inside the house... It's set on 75, but it was still creeping up to 78, 79. 
Yeah, to get some. There's only one myself there. Let me get the shot back there. Oh, that's where it's going. I was thinking it was going on the bottom. It is going on the bottom. Oh, you just said. I'm just doing it here so I can get the right size. Uh, should we just chop this off too or not? Nope. Because you, you, you're stuck with these. This is for the filter, Tom. Oh, so and it's got this here too. So the filter it's inside. Filter, the filter slips in yeah. over here. Is there still the filter inside though? There is, yeah. but take that out. Oh, okay. You can just do it from here. That'll be just the intake. Oh. So okay. it won't, it won't in there too. In, will it still pull air from it? Oh, it will. It'll just go filter here. Okay, I got you. Yeah, unfortunately, these were the legs were. They came up here. Oh, yeah, so they don't stand make them. in like a closet. Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, we have to have because if you cut these off. Uh -huh. There's nothing for this piece to go uh, into. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put a piece along here, seal it, piece along here, seal it, along there, and along here. Okay. Tape it up too. Yeah. Alright, let me grab a shot. Another shot. Right Let's find some screw. It's just a nothing. little panic sitting in to test it. What you do is you put it in, and the back end of the filter should stop the air. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Well, guys, we've got it turned on, and we're just now checking to make sure it works properly. So it's turned on, and it's blowing air, and it feels cooler. So this is what the temperature was with no air for the past two days. So we'll see how quickly it drops. It's uh, 130 right now and it's 83 degrees, so. One eternity later. Morning guys, welcome back to our channel on Papa Tom. So update on getting the house ready for aging and the boys to come back home. Uh, the air conditioner is installed and hooked up and it's running perfect. This house feels nice and cool and it heats or it cools super quick now. Uh, it doesn't struggle like the old one did. The old one was just not able to keep up. Um, so it's it's nice knowing that uh, we've got a nice new air conditioner unit that quickly pumps cool air into the house. So um, I think it's more important for me than for eating and the boys probably because they're used to. They're, they're used to Philippines right now, which is, you know, the house that we were renting there just had window units. So, you know, part of the house was not air conditioned. So, you, you know, your body kind of becomes accustomed to it. But anyways, look at this bad boy, 74 degrees. Oh, I love it. Um, so the last thing that I had on my list to fix before they came back was the two window blinds so, let me show you this is the boys bedroom and these are the blinds these are cordless blinds but the damage is because when they were babies wesley and then waylon would just stand on the bed and reach up and bend the little you know bend these things to look out and then they end up snapping off and then pretty soon you know people can look in from the outside so same thing happened in our master bedroom um, the window blinds are destroyed there too, but I was holding off buying replacements because while they're babies, they would just keep doing it. And then there's no point in wasting the money. So I had a blanket up there covering that corner, but now I've got the, uh, I've got two new blinds. So there, there's the one for the master bedroom still in the box. So these are 71 inches long and they come down like 49 inches, I think. But anyways, I'm gonna see if I can get the old one out and get the new one in. And I think it's gonna be the same size, so I don't need to replace the brackets or put new brackets up there. I think I just need to pop that one out and slide this one in. So.
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Papa Tom. So today is June 24th. Uh, I got home from work a few hours ago, took a nap, it felt good. Um, so I'm off the next two days. So these are my last two days off before uh, Eching and the boys fly back home. They, they're gonna fly into Miami on July 3rd. So I'll pick them up and then we'll, we'll get them back home. So I think I've got the house pretty caught up on all my to-do things to get it ready. So, so last week we replaced the entire air conditioning system. So the inside unit, the outside fan, brand new. So now we don't have to worry about the air conditioner crashing like it has been. Um, you know, it's a hot summer everywhere here in the States. Um, but at least I know I've got a brand new air conditioner that's going to keep us nice and cool. Um, mostly me because they're accustomed to warm weather and not not as cool homes as I am. But either way, so I've replaced the um, the blinds in the bedrooms because Wesley and Waylon both, when they were babies, would just pick the corners and break all the the blinds off. So got those fixed. Um, <clears throat> I'll have the place clean and mopped and swept and walls wiped down and everything nice and dust free. Um, got the boys' bedrooms reorganized and um, you know all the little dings and cracks and things fixed. <clears throat> um, got to get the cars washed and detailed. Get the car seats back in the car. <clears throat> um, the biggest thing I've got to do though is buy food because me living by myself and when brian was here with me you know we didn't really live like gourmet chefs we just you know i'll be honest i i eat at work most of the time so at home you know i have cereal peanut butter sandwiches ham and cheese sandwiches mac and cheese um things like that but you know there's so many things i gotta get so you know i gotta get a bunch of coke you know because that's you know mommy's drink right there and you know coke is life in the philippines um you know just so much stuff got got rice already i had to buy a new rice cooker because the other one um <clears throat> malfunctioned uh when when eaching and the boys left the last time so so yeah so the next two days i'm gonna go get as much stuff as i think we need and get ourselves caught back up and and next week Stay tuned, um, you'll see the reunion, the big reunion, uh, back to Florida. So thanks for watching guys, appreciate you, talk to you soon, bye.